I have a six-year-old with cerebral palsy, extreme vision difficulties. Where do I begin? Can this still help? Yes, yes, and yes. Hi, Anastasia. Um, thank you for coming in. Now, I will need for, for, I'm happy to do these free reviews, but I will also need, um, if you have them, some videos of your child, hip x-rays, and vision report. First of all, I need to understand your child, but so do you. That's why you're here. You don't know where to go to start to help because you don't know your child, okay? So the first thing I have to say all the time, you improve vision, you improve everything with the body, but you also have vision and cerebral palsy. So now the question is right now with the amblyopia, which is the, the eyes are, are asymmetrical, where are we at? Do we have glasses? Okay. Is the, is, is it from an astigmatism that's bringing in the eye in too much? So we need to know again, what is your visual help that that's needed to satisfy? Two, why hasn't surgery been discussed? Because again, though, that's why I need the report. Is it a muscle base, which a lot of people assume because it's cerebral palsy that the muscle is just literally being pulled in, but also is it structural based, right? Is the muscle pulling in because the astigmatism and that's going in. And so we need to solve this problem. Our first line of defense is the eyes working together and then the convergence, right? And if the eyes haven't worked together since he was for six years, that has to be our number one priority. So is it glasses or is it possibly surgery? And again, I don't have enough information to give you these things. So for me to suggest patching when it's muscle-based versus needing glasses are two different protocols that you would work with, okay? So that is your first priority. Of course he has cortical visual impairment because he doesn't have eyes. The eyes are not working together. They don't have convergence. There's three types of cortical visual impairments. It could be one of three or all of three. We have environmental, like again, here's my background. I put my glasses like here. Can, can you tell that they're glasses? Are we going to work on language skills or vision here? You know, again, versus again on my face. Can you see them more clearly? You know, what are glasses when you're starting to teach this? Or is a brain playing tricks with me just because I have environmental complexities? Now we have structural complexities. Well, if you've got all this going on, I can tell you right now there's processing issues because the structure of the eye is not there. It's not necessarily neurological, but it can be neurological. Just to have a child that has uh, cerebral palsy, has all of that going on, that doesn't mean that they're 100% gonna have CVI, and it doesn't mean they have CVI just because they have damage to the brain. This is where you have to, again, understand your child. But at, at six years old, if we're still having these conversations, you don't have a clue. And it's not your fault, right? You weren't helped properly, and that's why you're here. So, again, now, do, is the inability for your child to look over to the right due to, again, I have a peripheral and, and a midline issue within because I don't have binocular vision? Or am I spinning my whole body around because I have cerebral palsy and that's how, you know, for me to look off to the right, I'm gonna lose my balance, I'm gonna do all this, I can only do this way and now I'm spinning. And that's where you get a lot of the dystonic features um, that especially when the vision is the best part of their system. So first thing first, we've gotta stabilize the vision. Can you answer all my questions? It's a lot, I get it. But if I see the reports, I see a couple of videos, I can tell you what's going on quite easily. And you should have been given this information, not just coming to my group, but I'm glad you're here. Now I need to know where we're stabilized at. Can we stabilize vision through the pelvis? Where are your hip x-rays? And if you say you don't have one, I'm sorry, any child with cerebral palsy, from one up, you should have had a baseline on those hips and what's going on. I get it that let's say the hip is subflux or there's something going on there that you can't stabilize through the system and they're not gonna do surgery and maybe you don't wanna do surgery. Let's say worst case scenario. I'm not saying that this is the case. However, we have to stabilize the pelvis. If the pelvis is, is, is off here, you know what I mean? And now my vision is off. I don't have a horizon in my vision. You know what I mean? This is where we're gonna cause a complications. We need to stabilize your child's body to the best of our abilities and now we can start development because i can tell you right now if you're not stable you know what i mean you're not starting a business 
right? If you're not stable, you're not handling complex situations or minor situation. What do you say? Leave me alone until I get this situation handled. That's what CP is every, every moment of their life. And so that's what we have to do. What are we going to stabilize? The best, I can't, I say it all the time. We stabilize the vision. We're going to stabilize the rest. You can't go off of a diagnosis. You have to go off of where your child is at for them to function. And obviously they're not functioning well because we have all this going on. What do we need to do? It's almost like right, right now I have, could have a gorgeous Maserati. I have a flat tire. It doesn't matter how well the car is doing, right? We need to fix the tire, right? So right now we need to know where your child's vision's at. Get me the report. Um, we, we need to know again where the hips are at and structure and a couple of videos and you can get the full package and know where you need to go. But if you're still in these conversations and your child's six years old, and this, this is my goal for, for every child from the day they leave the hospital, not at six, you don't have a plan. And so your plan is now that you're, you're coming here, which is great because here you're going to get the plan, but you need to know how to help your situation and that's where we need to go. Thanks. Hi, Jeremy.